a hands-on look at what's new in iOS 14 Beta 6. Check it out. So this is probably one of my most wanted features with regard to Siri on the iPad. There's so much real estate here. I never understood why you couldn't interact with the background while Siri was on screen. But now in iOS 14 beta 6, as you can see, you can invoke Siri and the UI will stay there, complete your request while you do whatever you need to do with the app that you're using. So in this case, I'm browsing around Safari while Siri completes the request. But just keep in mind, you have to stay in the app you're in. If you try to switch apps, Siri will be dismissed. Now, although the AirPods spatial audio feature is not yet alive in iOS 14, you're starting to see some signs that it's coming to life. For instance, you have a new toggle in accessibility settings for spatial audio. But once this feature really goes live, you're gonna see it advertised in more locations, for instance, in Control Center. And in the Photos app album section, what used to be called other albums for all of your other stuff, like hidden folders and stuff like that, has now been renamed utility. So that's where you'll find things like recently deleted, imports, etc. And in beta 6, you'll find a new Maps app splash screen that helps introduce you to new features found in iOS 14. Things we've covered before like cycling, navigation, curated guides, and speed cameras. But here's what's really interesting about the Maps app. Apple is introducing in-house ratings and photos for points of interest in the Maps app. So it looks like Apple's looking to replace the Yelp integration that's already present in the Maps app with their own solution. And in beta 6, there's an updated time picker UI. So it's basically the same, but there are some subtle changes here with the time picker. The most obvious change is the, the color that outlines the actual time. So you can, of course, still scroll individually the hour and the minutes, and you can also directly type in the hour and minutes as well if you want to do that. But notice that the outline and the actual time is themed according to the app. So for reminders, it's blue. For the calendar, it was red. And for here, the clock app, no big surprise, you have an orange outline with orange numbers. And in the mail app, you'll notice a subtle change. The text of sender names is now blue. Now this is probably not new, but I just installed iOS 14 on my Touch ID enabled iPhone SE 2. And you get this really cool looking splash screen to introduce Touch ID. Now when making phone calls in beta six, the control center indicator that tells you that the microphone was recently used actually shows phone now instead of system like it used to. You can see it shows phone was recently used there. Subtle change, but nonetheless useful. And here's a cool one, the Siri UI is now positioned correctly while in landscape mode on the iPhone. So here in portrait mode, you can see Siri at the bottom of the, of the display like you would expect. But here in landscape mode, it also now appears at the bottom instead of as if you invoked it in portrait mode. So that's been fixed in beta six. You'll also notice an updated shortcuts widget. So now you get a one by one shortcut that allows you to invoke a single shortcut with just a tap and you have your multiple shortcuts uh, now they call it shortcuts folder instead of favorites. And you also have the larger folder as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add that one by one to the home screen. And we're actually gonna use that here in the next feature that I'm gonna show you. You can now create shortcuts to switch accounts on the Apple TV, which is really cool. Now you have to be running the latest beta version of tvOS 14 on your Apple TV. So keep that in mind, but you can go through, create a shortcut, link to your Apple TV, link to the user you wish to switch to. And now I have a switch account shortcut just like that right here within the shortcuts app. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify that one by one that we set up earlier to invoke that switch control. When I tap it like that, guess what? It does its thing and switches accounts on my Apple TV. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. That has been a look at several new features for iOS 14 beta 6. Be sure to thumbs up. That helps other people find this video if you found it helpful. And let me know what you think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.